A very good morning to everyone. And the title of my presentation today is Anxiety During the COVID-19 Pandemic in Malaysia, Prevalence, Risk and Protective Factors. Uh, can we move on to the next slide? Okay, COVID-19 pandemic has caused a major public health problem worldwide, especially on mental health aspect. Anxiety has been reported to be one of the significant mental health issues that has affected population worldwide. Beside the drastic changes in lifestyle due to the implementation of movement control order, uh, which is similar to lockdowns in other countries, it has caused adverse effect on mental health issues due to our limited movement and recreational activities, particularly anxiety disorder. It was reported that one third of the general population worldwide uh, reported to suffer from anxiety during this pandemic. Therefore, this study aimed to examine the prevalence of anxiety among Malaysians during the movement control order and its associated risk and protective factors. Next is the methodology. 543 participants were recruited in this study and majority of them were females aged between 18 to 24 years old and they were singles and most of them were government employees. Online questionnaires were used to obtain data from study participants. Questionnaires on social demographic, social demographic status were obtained. Besides that, instruments such as the Generalized Anxiety Disorder Questionnaire was used to measure anxiety level. Short Boredom Proner Scale was used to measure boredom. Short Scale for measuring loneliness in large surveys were used to measure loneliness. And the WHO Wellbeing Index to, was used to measure well-being among the study participants. Logistic regression analysis was done to determine the risk and protective factors which were associated with anxiety disorder in this study. This study has also received ethics clearance from the University of Malaya Research Ethics Committee. Informed consent was obtained from study participants prior to answering the questionnaires. This study is part of the multinational COVID-19 in the Global South project. And we move on to result. A quarter of study participants showed symptoms of mild anxiety. Meanwhile, 13.6% showed symptoms of moderate anxiety and 19.5% showed symptoms of severe anxiety. Uh, those who were divorced, separated or widowed showed a very high odds of anxiety, which is six times. Those who are aged 25 to 34 years old uh, showed uh, experience 2.4 times of uh, anxiety. And those who are aged 35 to 44 years old uh, showed slightly higher odds of experiencing anxiety, which is 2.5 times. Those with children experienced 2.4 times uh, level of uh, anxiety and those with higher bottom levels, those who are very bored, showed 1.1 times odds of anxiety. In short, one in five Malaysians surveyed experienced severe anxiety. Family issues such as being divorced and having children could be associated with anxiety. Whereas adults within the working age bracket which is between 25 to 44 years old, have higher odds of developing anxiety. In short, the risk factors of anxiety in the population needs to be addressed. Public health messages and communication, such as via social media platform, are deemed important to combat this issue. I would like to thank the COVID-19 Global South Project as well as the Malaysian Association of Scientific Research in Psychiatry for supporting this research. Thank you.